airline manufacturers feeling about this year? Well, to answer that question, I'm joined by the CEO of ATR, Patrick de Castabajac. Tell me a little bit, you've just signed a deal at this air show, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. It's a deal, you know, Lesos plays a great role in our industry. They are the one opening new market for us and they're one fi finding financing for the airlines. So yesterday we signed indeed with Aviation. Aviation is a company which is listed in the, in the London Stock Exchange, uh, but also is headquartered in Singapore. For, its, for us, the second largest uh, lessor, they, take already, they took already 25 aircraft from us. They signed for five more and 10 options, which brings the number to 35 firm aircraft in total ordered from them. And, uh, and that makes them again a second lessor for us. Uh, what's your sense of how people are feeling, the industry is feeling at this air show, given the fact that we are entering what appears to be a protracted period of global economic uncertainty? I think in, I mean, airlines and are, are really a key, uh, a key actor for, for the economic growth of any country, of any region. And we, we believe the growth is continuing. Even here, even though the growth may be slowing down a little bit, the growth is still there, the growth is still there. Uh, what is the major dr driver for us and for our industry to move up is basically the, the, the middle class people and the business. And we are, as an industry, are really driven by this and, and also supporting the growth. So again, for us, when we see, we see this growth not exactly going as fast as it used to be, but we see the growth continuing this year and the year ahead. What about China, though? It's one of those markets that you know, must be extremely important for your business, but you've not been able to crack it yet. No, not yet. I think we will come there eventually because when you look at China, there's 2,600 2, aircraft and there's only something like 90 uh, uh, aircraft below 90 seats, which makes like 2.5%. If you look at the overall industry, the overall world fleet, you have roughly 25% of the fleet which is regional, below 90 seaters. In China, it's 2.5%. Is that a normal situation? I don't believe in. Now, do we want to get in? Do we will? I think, yes, we will. Thank you very much, Patrick de Castabajac, the CEO of ATR there.